Hey everyone, welcome back to part three. Some say the best part, also the final part. Turn Mr. Slider's visibility back on so we can scale the guitar to fit him. Time to unwrap. Mark some seams with Control E. Open up the UV editor and with both the body and the neck objects selected, hit U to unwrap. And now, unwrap his head. You can unwrap his bo bo bozy. Is that booty? <laughs> Unwrap his booty? <laughs> if you want. It's not gonna be textured. <laughs> We're not gonna texture his booty. <laughs> the important areas to unwrap are around his eyes and mouth. Something like this. In face mode, select a face in each island and hit Ctrl L to select all linked. Then unwrap with you. Let's add a better light to the scene. Add a plane. Give it a new transparent material. Add a mix and emission shader. Select the Emission Shader and turn on Node Wrangler in your add-ons under Edit Preferences. Control t adds this mapping setup. Switch the coordinate to Object. And with the Texture node selected, hit Shift-S to change it to a gradient texture. Select one of the Sphere options and turn it up. I'm going to change the focal length of my camera arbitrarily and then begin setting up materials. Select all of KK Slider's objects and hit Ctrl A to apply scale. This will keep any procedural textures we use consistent. Go into the body object and add a noise texture and bump node to the default material. Switch to object mode and increase the scale. Drop the strength and distance. I just want some subtle texture to his fur without spending too much time on it. Apply this material to all three body objects. Copy the noise texture and add a color ramp. Adjust it if you want to add some slight color variations. Select the eye and nose islands and add a new material slot. Select the skin material again and duplicate it. Name it something like KK Slider Face and assign it. Add a mix node and an image texture, change to multiply. Create a new white texture and hit OK. Switch into the image editor, turn back on the reference. Go into Texture Paint Mode, make sure the Image Editor panel is set to Paint. Switch to the Tool tab, select Black. If you're using a tablet, make sure Pressure Sensitivity is not enabled on the Strength setting. And start painting. If you want to have his face uneven, apply your mirror modifiers and re-unwrap the face or mouth. As you're painting, just keep going back and fixing stuff. Now, let's texture this guitar. Create a new material. Add an image texture to its base color and open the guitar texture. You can get this texture from Models Resource, link in the description. Or paint your own. Select the entire body object and hit U to project from view. In the UV editor, start moving around the UVs to match up with the image texture. Apply the material to the- I just screamed apply, I don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about this material. Apply the material to the guitar neck and head. Go into UV editor and position these islands as well. Just create a new material for the bridge, no texture needed, and another for the other object. Select the back of the guitar and move its UVs. Scale by negative one on the X axis to flip the UV. I'm going to quick add the tuners. Nothing too complicated is necessary copy and place them. Create a new metallic material for them, select them and assign the material. Use P to make the tuners into their own objects if they aren't already. Remove any modifiers and add a bevel modifier. Add strings if you want to, guitars usually have those. Add an edge loop down the middle of the side and mark it as a seam. Select one side, you'd unwrap and project from view. Squash it down to fit this gradient. Do the same with the other side, but flip or rotate it first. And now these sides too, since I forgot there was a seam down the center. And it's done. Let's add an armature. This is not generally how you do leg bones, but I'm a rebel, I do what I want. Give him bones. Name them bones. Symmetrize. Create some controller bones. Clear their parents with Alt-P. Select the wrist controller bone, and then the forearm one. In Pose Mode, hit Shift-I to add an IK bone constraint. Change the chain length to 2. Do the same with the elbow controllers, have a chain length of 1. 
Make knee and foot controllers. Clear parents. Add IK chains. Clear the parent of the foot and hand bones. Shift select the foot controller bones and then the foot bones. Hit Control Shift C to add a child of constraint. Go to the bone constraint tab and set inverse. Do the same with the hands. Deselect the deform checkbox on all the controller bones. And let's give the guitar a bone. You can make your rig as fancy as you want to with custom appearances and whatnot. Now select the objects and finally the rig. Hit Control P and select with automatic weights. Fix all of the bone weights. I'm just going to remove all the vertex groups except for the guitar bone from the guitar objects. And work on my bone weights for hours. Maybe re-rig his arm so that his wrist will work. So that's KK Slider done. Hopefully you found something in these videos useful. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video, leave us a like or a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all. Goodbye.